everyone welcome to the new episode to the interview experience by i love mythology with me khushi this side today we welcome our very special guest vidan pandey sir and ashish kumar sir with us they had been recently selected as an intern in tata metallics welcome sirs congratulations on your success and we are glad that you have accepted our invitation thank you khushi thank you very much thank you khushi most welcome sirs So starting with the first question so as this company came for the summer intern what will be your role as an intern so basically when we will go there then we will be given some project and we have to work on it and we have to submit some report and based on the report we will be judged uh, so yeah basically the project which will be we will be given they will be real life industry problems and we have to prepare a research based report on that and finally we will be finally evaluated on that report okay sir so what are the levels of exams and how many rounds were there during the complete procedure of the selection so uh, ashish i am starting this one so uh, so basically there were three rounds in the selection procedure uh, the first was the there was an online assessment in which there was a mix of you know aptitude poor metrology questions and some behavioral question and essay question it was like an online assessment round it's basically for all the companies this type of round happens so what happened was that we got the link of an online platform and we have to solve that in a within a limited time duration we can open the link and we can give our assessment after the results were declared for this round a date for further rounds were given on that particular date initially a pre internship talk was given by the company officials and then we had our group discussion round for the gd round we were divided into eight or nine groups consisting of eight or nine students per group each group was called one by one and topic for gd was given to them gd was uh, i guess uh, an structure gd was an structure after the completion of gd round approximately 10 students were selected for final technical plus hr interview and in the interview both like in the inter- there was no separate technical and hr round in the interview both technical and hr question were asked to each candidate so this was the like overall three rounds were there you can say online gd and then final technical plus hr so i would like to yeah. i would like to talk about the level of the questions then in the as vedan said that uh, first round was the written test then in written test there was two sections aptitude and core questions were there so in aptitude the level was in both aptitude and core question both uh, the level was uh, you can say easy or below average the first round was easy but uh, in technical round the questions were you can say the questions were quite uh, questions were uh, of uh, above average you can say the level was quite good of the questions in technical round okay so so does the selection round consist of gd also and if yes how did you prepare for that ashish would you like to okay so for gd i i i used to randomly select any topic and used to practice like i used to try to speak on that topic for 1 to 2 minutes more not more than that because there also you will get you will get uh, not uh, more than 2 minutes to speak so i used to select any random topic and and also with uh, you can also make some group of uh, not uh, very large four to five uh, your with your friends and you, you can select any general topic for gd and practice it try to speak and be fluent so that uh, i did for gd yeah so yeah for gd you can pick up any general topic and you can practice on it and especially for tata metallics i would like to add that uh, you should have good etiquette and like when you are the gd was unstructured so there was a you know that i need to speak first i need to speak first there was a hustle between us but in that you have to remember that you have to be in manner and proper etiquette the judges are seeing this also so you can't just like randomly stop anyone and start your own talk or just abruptly ab- stop anyone or you can't just be like yeah manner as or forget the proper etiquette these are this is very important and company officials see this so yeah this you can practice with your friends and any time online topics are given Okay, sir. So, as this company is a dream company for the core placement, 
on what subjects do one need to focus in core as there are multiple subjects in each semester so the, talking about subjects then you should not focus on any one subject like you have to study because they ask question from several subjects like you have to study what uh, what all the subject like physical metallurgy mechanical metallurgy and uh, as the company is tata metallics uh, they are iron making based company so you have to definitely study iron making and still making these things you definitely have to study you can say all the subject you have to look at and uh, try to study any one subject which you like try to study it a little deeper because as i said in the technical round the questions are little questions ask a little deeper so you have to study any one subject you have to make any one subject uh, strong so that in the interview it can help yes so ashish actually pointed out that you have also said that there are multiple subjects in each semester so yes, yeah there are multiple but you have to focus only on two or three like for tata metal different companies have you know different subjects for which you can prepare so for tata metallics or for any in general core company physical metallurgy is very important like it's form the basis of the interview and as tata metallics is iron and steel based so you can prepare that also in some basic understanding of all other subjects like extractive metallurgy mechanical metallurgy will be good enough and often in the interview it is asked that what is your favorite subject so you have to tell so prepare one subject which you are very confident that you can answer each and every question satisfactorily okay sir so. so what are the subjects from which questions for asked in technical round so as uh, as i said earlier that uh, you do not need to focus any one subject in the interview the questions were asked uh, from like several subjects it was not but they ask you like which subject do you want us to ask from they ask so now topic talking about the general they generally they ask physical metallurgy as vedant said physical metallurgy is must they they will ask you questions from that so that subject i will say that you should definitely study and apart from that mechanical metallurgy is also very important subject in that also questions are always asked and iron making is to making that, that these things will be i will say enough for the interview uh, some of the questions which i can remember from my technical part is that uh, initially there was question about hardness and hardenability and moving on they were asking about steel making some of the general questions were about steel making like the general procedure of steel making etc and then the major part of my interview was dealt in physical metallurgy so in depth question was asked in that like heat treatment microstructure of bainite martensite crystallographic structure and formation of martensite difference between tgd diagram and cct diagram effect of alloying element uh, hardness and hardenability measuring tests like jomi and quest test and you know questions from iron carbon phase diagram so these were basically asked like physical metallurgy formed a quite a major part of my interview apart from that general questions from steel making and whether what whatever they were you know they can remember from extractive or other subjects they were asking i i would like i would also like to tell about the some of the topics from which uh, i was asked in the interview so as vidhan said yeah, ttt diagrams they asked i they asked me to draw the ttt diagram and some questions were from microstructures questions were were from there they they gave me some uh, small numerical on phase rule and they ask questions from properties different tests so from dislocations it is also very important thing from uh, heat treatment also questions are always there like these questions uh, these topics must be done yeah ashish like pointed out they were having pen and paper so some of the questions were you can give some small like, numerical to yeah, solve to solve on the paper. like from uh, lever rule or small Composition. problem they can give yeah so they were pen and paper available so you have to solve some of the questions there and on, on the spot okay so so what are the questions that were asked in hr round can you state some questions if you remember uh, like, uh, so in the hr round uh, the questions were initially basically you know, extra co curricular clubs like i am involved in two or three uh, two clubs like technical team and clubs so the questions initially were what is the what is your role in the technical team or what have you done in this team what are you doing and uh, how have you done have you participated in any this competition or that so basically questions were around the clubs and extra co curricular activities which i have done then moving on some general hr questions like uh, what makes you different from the other candidates or what is your usp they were also asking like oh, my name vida so they asked what is the meaning of your name and uh, it was like so what is your philosophy of life this type of question they were asking 
so these were basic hr questions like uh, what makes you different tell me any time like you utilized your biggest strength what are your some of the weaknesses these are the questions yeah in hr yeah they ask about extra curricular activities like if you are in any club then they will they can ask you from that like what do you do so these things only they ask in hr round and there was no extra, no any hr round actually it was a technical round in that they only ask about yeah. that these things so initially in my interview first the hr questions was there like uh, what is your role in the club what you do this that and then they shifted to the technical part and then they asked about the technical questions okay so so is it difficult to get summer intern and what are some suggestions for the juniors who are going to face the intern session soon so uh, basically uh, it's it's not very difficult to get some interns uh, i think the opportunities are like uh, limited companies come to internship for metallurgy so yeah so it is like competition is high because limited companies come so what you can do is just prepare you know the technical for the technical part you can just prepare subjects in the you have your summer vacations summer vacation is a long time you get a holiday of around 2 or 3 months So in that you can prepare the technical subjects like physical metallurgy or iron and steel making. You can prepare, you can press it up. And one of the most important thing for the interviews and for these technical companies or for any company, like for any company, it is that you you should have a strong communication skills. Your vocabulary should be good. So try to practice it because you know in core companies GD is there and in non-core companies also HR interviews are there. So you have to have a good communication skills. So try to improve. Okay, so my suggestion would be that, uh, like uh, as Vidhan said about communication skill. So in in the selection, we all know that uh, one round is GD round. So for that, you have to prepare a lot. You have to practice because it is uh, one of the major round. I will say most important round because most of our students are eliminated in that round only. As uh, in our batch, also 80 students appeared in GD round, and only 10 to 12 12 were selected for the interview. So you can. See that how many students were eliminated in GD round. So you have to practice for GD a lot, and you you should definitely like some some general topics. You should you should definitely do some practice. Like some general topics are like green energy. You can search on the Google. You can find that about GD topics, and they are only asked in the interview. My and my second uh, suggestion I would like to tell that uh, you should study from the books because uh, some you you should. follow some standard book and try to study from that because as i earlier said that uh, uh, in technical round they ask question little deeper so if you will study from book then only you will be able to answer the question otherwise you can't so try to read from the books as much as possible from the books from. but ashish uh, yeah like some of the books like uh, for physical metallurgy carrister is there and rajesh prasad lectures on youtube and uh, for physical metallurgy v raghavan book is there yeah. that is also very good yeah. and for mechanical metallurgy it is uh, Peter, you study from that, and for iron making, steel making, it is Amit Chatterjee. So, if you study from this book, then it will be more than enough to for the interview. It will be more than enough. Okay, sir. So here we come to an end of our interview session. I would like to thank you, sir, for the interview, and we are highly honored to have you both as our guest today. Adding a short note to our viewers: please do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you, Pushy. Thank you, Pushy. Thank you. Sir.